We're at Kerith, which is an old volcanic system. We used to have a magma chamber underneath. Magma chambers collapsed. Subsequently, we've had mass movement events that have caused this huge depression to form into a caldera shape in here. It's slightly unusual. We've got some water in here. It's not rainfall. It's water that's naturally in the groundwater system. And because of the water table, is just filled up from the bottom. So it's a great opportunity for us to be able to wander around the bottom, but also be able to walk around the top of the crater and have a look into the top of the caldera. This afternoon's trip around the Golden Circle has involved a visit to Geysir. And then we went to Gullfoss, one of the biggest waterfalls in Iceland. And now we're here at Thingvellir. And really the last two have been a perfect example of why kids need to be out in the field. And here we're looking at the split in between the North American and the Eurasian plate. I think people turn up here thinking they can stand on either side of the plate, but actually plates are a long way apart. There's a lot of stuff that's gone on in between and we're really in a zone of rifting. We've walked up something that has been billed as almost being able to touch both continents at the same time, but it doesn't work like that. Geography is messy. This is a perfect example of when you get out into the field, you can appreciate some of that complexity. On the west-hand side, we've got the North American plate. On the far east, we've got the Eurasian plate. In the middle is a huge zone of rifting that subsequently had a load of water in it. It's not called the Golden Circle for no reason. We've had a wonderful day out in the field. We've seen loads of things and learned loads of geography.